Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my May favorites. These are products I've been loving in the month of May. I'm still sick. I actually feel like I'm coughing more than ever today. Still don't have my voice back 100%, but the show must go on. I actually don't have a lot of makeup products to talk about today, like actual makeup, because I just haven't been wearing makeup that much this month, so I was only playing around with makeup a little bit. But don't worry, this video will still be 80 years long. I do have other stuff that's a little bit more random to share with you today, so let's just get started. So I have been loving the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. This is a liquid bronzer and it has kind of like a serum-y consistency. You have to shake it up before you use it. And I like to just apply this to the back of my hand and then grab a brush and kind of buff it into my skin. I don't like to use a beauty blender with it because I find that it soaks up a lot of the product with this guy for some reason. So I prefer using like a buffing brush and I'm wearing it today. But I do have a powder bronzer on top. And I love this because it doesn't make my skin look orange. So many liquid bronzers like the Benefit Do The Hula. Is that what it's called? I think, I'm not sure. It's a liquid bronzer and it just looks too warm on my skin. This is a warm bronzer, but it makes your skin look tan, like you've just been sun-kissed. It's beautiful and I've been loving this. I have to talk about this shameless plug, I know, I'm sorry, but the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Aquarius is what I've been wearing all month. I think I've fallen in love with Aquarius more this month than any other month. Like even when it released, I've been wearing it non-stop. I wore it pretty much throughout Vegas during the day. Even at night, this is just like all I have been wearing. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now, obviously. To me, it's the perfect nude. When I don't know what lip color I want to wear, I always just reach for Aquarius. It's definitely my favorite product I've ever created with ColourPop, I think. I know that seems crazy, but actually, there's some things that I'm working on with ColourPop at the moment that won't release for a while, but Aquarius has been holding it down for me. I also really, really want to talk about the NARS lip covers. These came out for like uh, summer 2016. I do get PR from NARS, but I didn't get any of their like summer collection, at least not yet. So maybe I purchased these and I'm gonna get sent them. I don't know. But I bought these three on my own because I originally bought Overheated and then I fell in love with the formula that I bought the other two. And it's pretty much like a literal liquid lipstick. It doesn't dry super matte. It's kind of just like a lipstick liquefied if that makes any sense. I was wearing overheated in my ipsy bag unboxing this month It's just like a really pretty mauvey rosy brown the formula on these I can't describe how good they are They actually remind me a lot of the ColourPop ultra satin lips So I think the ColourPop ones are definitely a dupe for these the ColourPop ones are way more affordable But if you cannot get ColourPop where you are and maybe you can get NARS try the lip covers They're so comfortable. They kind of have like a satin finish on the lips. I was wearing get dirty the other day I'll post a picture and I just I love how they make my lips look because they just glide over the lips They don't cling on to any dryness. They are honestly Amazing amazing lip products. I need to take it back to an oldie, but a goodie This is the elf baked blush in the shade pink tastic. It's obviously not a blush. It's a highlight Don't know why it was labeled blush. It's the highlight. I'm wearing on my cheeks right now I used it in a recent tutorial I also have this in my inner corners underneath my brow bone pretty much put it all over my face on my nose Guys, I love this so much. This is my favorite highlighting product by e.l.f. It's only like $3 and it's incredible. I kind of stay away from the pinky section. I love the champagne tone. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. If I didn't tell you I was wearing a, an e.l.f. highlight, you probably wouldn't tell because it, it feels high-end, like it looks high-end. But ever since I posted about this, a couple of people have been telling me that it's discontinued. I promise you I will be so upset with e.l.f. if they discontinue this. Let me see if you can still find this on the website. Okay, it's still on the website under their baked blushes, but it's sold out, like it's out of stock. Oh my gosh, e.l.f., if you are discontinuing this, I'll be so upset. Hopefully you guys can still find this. If you find it, grab it because it's beautiful. Like, I love it. I love it so much. Please. Please don't, don't discontinue this. Okay, so those were all the makeup products I've been using this month. The rest are kind of more randomy, still beauty related, but a little bit random. I have been wearing my Shiseido foundation a ton this month. It's pretty much the only foundation I've been wearing. Besides my Laura Mercier Candle Glow foundation, I've been loving that one too. I actually mixed both of them today to apply to my face. 
But anyway, this is a Valentino perfume and this one is called Donna. I bought this at Nordstrom specifically to take with me to Vegas. If you guys have seen my Snapchats and my Instagram, you already know. But I want to do this thing where every time I travel to a place I've never been before, I want to buy a perfume specifically for that vacation and only wear that perfume on that vacation so that I don't know, months later, I can smell that perfume and think back on that vacation. Because you guys know, like, scents just trigger memories, and there are so many perfumes I have in my collection that whenever I put it on, it just takes me back to, like, a certain time when I really wore that perfume. It's incredible. I love that about perfume. It's my favorite thing about perfumes, honestly. So, I picked up Valentino Donna to take to Vegas, and even though I've only been back from Vegas for a little while, this already reminds me of Vegas, oh my gosh. I used like half the bottle on the trip. Really, I don't know. Was I that turnt in Vegas that I didn't notice that I was just like wasting this perfume? But I was showering in this perfume and I cannot tell you how many times someone asked me like, what perfume are you wearing? There was even a girl who worked at the casino that like chased me down the casino and I didn't even notice. She was like, hey, I need to know, what perfume are you wearing? I was like, oh, Valentino Donna. It smells really beautiful. The other day, Melissa came into my room and she smelled it and she's like, oh my God, this reminds me of the hotel room. I guess because I sprayed it so much, just like the room started to smell like this. If you are interested in the notes, I pulled them up on my phone. The notes are bergamot, iris, patchouli. I love patchouli. Vanilla and Bulgarian rose. I would say there is a mix of like floral and vanilla mixed together. I actually haven't been wearing it recently, like in the past few days, because I want it to really remind me of Vegas. My next favorite is actually something I didn't think I would like. These are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Micellar Makeup Remover Wipes. I'm pretty sure these are new. I tried out the Simple Micellar Water, like the actual micellar water, and I didn't like it. It burned my eyes really badly. So I was totally hesitant to try these, but I was just walking around Walgreens and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try them. And I love them. I like these so much more than the actual micellar water. These micellar wipes take off all my makeup in such a gentle way. I even prefer these to their regular simple wipes that I've used for years. They just take off all my makeup and they do not burn my eyes. And I'm talking about like I rub my eyes. They don't burn my eyes. I was so surprised since the other one did. Totally recommend these. They're very good for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin and it hasn't given me like any irritation. And it kind of hydrates your skin as well. You know how some makeup wipes will take off all your makeup and your face will kind of feel a little bit tight? You don't get that with these. I really, truly love these. All right, so my next favorite is probably my ultimate favorite of the month, like ultimate favorite. Most of you know, some of you don't. I'll just tell you the story really quick. I was smelling a candle and it's really hard to explain. Let me kind of demonstrate. It was a Bath and Body Works candle and I was smelling the candle. I don't even wanna to get too close. And I got too close, I was outside and I got too close and I honestly don't know how, but I feel like it was the heat of the flame, something, I got really close. I don't know what I was doing, I was like in the middle of a conversation, I don't know. But I burned off my lashes on my left eye. I felt them like crisp up and fall on my cheek, like it, it's that serious. It didn't burn off all of them, I would say it burned off like half of them. I had pretty long lashes to begin with and they, these were actually my good lashes. I had really nice lashes on this eye and it kind of burned off like half of them. And when I first tried to put mascara after that happened, you could not see my lashes at all. They were just like <laughs> really, really hard, really crispy and just short and stubby. Like I, I had to wear individual lashes or like falsies for a good two weeks there. But this has been helping my lashes tremendously. This is castor oil. I actually was recommended this by so many of you on Twitter. I have been putting castor oil on my lashes every single night before I go to sleep and I've seen a world of a difference within a month. I'm gonna see if I can zoom you in. They don't look like much now because they're very short because I mean I burned them off but compared to how they were like mascara didn't even make them look decent at all they were just sticking straight out and so burnt I feel like this has made a world of a difference guys like you have no idea how crispy they were and like how short they were I mean they're still short compared to how my lashes were naturally they were pretty long but wow I am so impressed it's been doing a great job and I'm gonna continue to use it just so that they can get longer and stronger 
This is a 100% pure organic castor oil, moisturizing oil for hair and skin. I haven't tried this on my hair because it is a very, I have some oil like dripping on the side. It is a very thick oil. Not sure how I would use this on my hair, but you could totally use this on your eyebrows as well to maybe make them thicker. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I will. I bought mine on Amazon. Honestly, I would have picked any brand. This is just like the first one that popped up because I searched 100% pure organic castor oil. This is the one I found. So thank you so much, castor oil. I love you. Okay, so my next favorite I briefly spoke about in my cat chats video, but I wanted to talk about it again. I have been addicted to matcha powder. Addicted. When I was in Vegas, me and Jessie would go to like uh, Starbucks pretty much every morning and I would get like my usual coffee. And I noticed she was getting this like big venti thing of just like green liquid and I'm like, what are you drinking? She's like, oh, it's just regular venti iced water but with matcha powder in it. I was like, what's matcha powder? Tell me about it. And basically this is just like concentrated green tea. It's green tea in powder form. And I despise, not even dislike, I despise. Green tea, I've never liked the flavor of it. Surprisingly, matcha powder is delicious. I don't know, I could definitely taste, it's green tea, but it isn't, I don't know, I like it, I actually like it. Jesse let me try it and I was like, oh my God, I don't hate it, I kinda like it. And then I've been addicted ever since. I don't like to order it from Starbucks anymore because I recently found out that they had sugar in theirs. Like when you order matcha powder at Starbucks, they don't tell you, but theirs has sugar in it, which is not cool, Starbucks. At least let a girl know. So I got it off of Amazon, you know, where I get everything. And I bought matcha powder. This is organic matcha. Um, and the only ingredient in here is organic matcha. It says it helps your metabolism, increase focus, your skin health. And it gives you energy, which is why I started to drink it. It gives me so much energy. Like, way more energy than coffee and so much better. Because I feel like when I drink coffee, I get a lot of energy. But then it goes away and I just feel kind of like sluggish. With this, I don't feel that way. I just have energy. I mean, I have Cuban coffee every once in a while with like the family. Like Cubans just get together. They drink Cuban coffee. That's what we do. But in the mornings, I just fill my cup up with water, ice. And I take just a couple of scoops of matcha powder and I drink this and I just get so much energy, I love it. A lot of people were asking me about this cup. This is just a cup my friend Stephanie bought me when she went to Disney. If you're someone who you're like, you know what, I don't wanna do the coffee thing, it gives me the jitters, it gives me anxiety. Don't drink coffee, try matcha powder. It looks like these, take a screenshot. Okay, I have one more favorite to share with you guys. This is from a brand called Secret and it is their Ocean Mist salt and oil scrub. This is the Ocean Mist. They have like a honey one that I actually want to try after this one. I will purchase it when I'm done with this. I love this. I used to hate salt scrubs. Like with a passion guys, with a passion. They just always dried out. I have an itch. They just always dried out my skin. But this one from Secret has oil mixed in it. So it really moisturizes my skin. But I guess the salt in it just exfoliates my body so well. Like even better than other exfoliators I've tried in the past. Secret is kind of like a brand where it's pricey unless you buy through someone who represents Secret, like a representative for Secret. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I feel like I keep mentioning Jessie in this video like a creep. But my friend Jessie, Jessie smiles as you know, she's a YouTuber. Her mom is a representative for Secret and me and her got together about a month ago and she was showing me all of the products from Secret. Like she gave me a facial, we were just hanging out. I love Jessie's mother, like if she was my own mother. She tried this out on my body for like the first time. She put it all over my arms and I was like rubbing it in and I was immediately shocked by how smooth my skin was and how great it exfoliated my body. If you've never exfoliated your body, honestly, it's amazing, especially for dry skin because it just takes off all the dead skin. And when she first pulled this out, I was like, oh girl, I don't like salt scrubs. She's like, try it. Fantastic. It has a very strange consistency because when you pick it up with your hands or like with a spatula, it has like the oiliness to it, but salty at the same time. And I like the scent, the ocean mist, cause I feel like I'm at the beach. I told Jesse's mom, I was like, listen, I love this so much. I totally want to tell my subscribers all about it. I bought like three other things besides this. You save a lot more money when you buy kind of like their bundle deal. They have a bundle deal thing. And that's what I did to save money. I purchased all these products, by the way. I bought this, I bought like a 
two other masks and some exfoliator for my face and I've just been loving this brand but when I told her I was like listen I want to tell my subscribers about it but if they do want to buy this I want them to get like the best deal I want them to get like a bundle and I want them to go through you because I mean I went through you and I just I love her so much she's like I, you know how you meet certain people and you just know like oh, you're good people I love you so much that's how I feel about Jessie and her mom like so if you guys are interested in getting this I'm gonna link it below she has a website I'm gonna link it below watch the video and she has like the whole deal where you can get a bundle or you totally can buy this on its own all the information will be on that website this video is not sponsored she's literally just my friend and I truly love this I haven't been using it every day obviously but every time I go to tan my body I've used it Go to her website if you're interested. Go watch the video. This is so good. You will not be disappointed. This is an amazing body scrub. It's a very natural, natural brand. Great ingredients. Good to the environment. Just an awesome brand. So I will link that below. Okay, guys. So that completes this video. These are products I've been loving in the month of May. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product in May was. And maybe I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I dropped these and I thought I broke it, but thank god I did it. <laughs> Relax, no barking. You still filming? Yeah, I'm still filming. Oh, mother. <laughs> Cornelius! You took off my light! Hey, come on, come on, let's go outside, come on. Remember, you remember me? You don't have to spray the, the person, they're not gonna smell it. I know, Fotika. <laughs> 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 Cornelius! Cornelius!